Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Emerson uh, Sensi thermostat. Uh, here I have a current picture of it, which I've been taking um, one minute ago or so. So it's set to 79 degrees, it's currently at 78, so it stopped cooling, probably it's 79. So. Uh, the thing is, I got an email from the uh, Sensi that it's now possible to connect the Sensi thermostat to the Google Assistant. And I tried this and it worked really easy. So it seems it's not so much of a problem and I'm showing you some basics, not everything, because it's already connected, but I'm going to show you how this works. So you have to go to, uh, yeah, what, what, what you need, of course, is the Sensi app. I have to invoke that. That's here we have, have the Sensi app. And you have to install this and uh, connect it inside the thermostat. There's a code, and when you connect it to the thermostat, you have to enter the code so it uh, can be connected. And of course, yeah, you need some kind of AP setting. I mean, uh, access point. Yeah, uh, you need, uh, of course, the instructions, and so you can set up an access point, connect with your mobile phone and the app, and then you have to enter the Wi-Fi uh, password and so on and till it's connected like this so you see now it's in cooling mode 79 and it's always set uh, also set to 79 so that's it and what you can do uh, yeah how to connect then the oops uh, gee it's 1000 messages so yeah uh, how to connect the Google Assistant then to the Sensi. So you have to uh, long press here and then this uh, calls the or invokes the um, Google Assistant and then you have on top this blue thing and then you go click again and you go to settings now in invoking the settings and there's a uh, home uh, yeah where is it home control here you uh, go to home control yeah, and in my case I have already connected this thing if you the if you do it the first time you have to go to this uh, blue plus and go down till you see the s it's in alphabetic order and then with the uh, S E um, Sensi so you see it's not here anymore because I've already clicked on it uh, yeah you will see the Sensi app here you can click on that and then it asks for, uh, you for the uh, username and password and then you can connect it and it's basically it's done and then you have the functionality you can just um, invoke Google Assistant what's the room temperature okay yeah that's cool it says it's not available right now it was available I don't know why it's not available so let's check the Sensi app Sometimes it does not connect, but at the moment, oh yeah, it's offline. So that's a problem with the Emerson Sensi thermostat that it's going offline from time to time. Even when I have a new router, uh, you see now it's online again. So I don't know wh why this is the case. So I'm trying again. So I long press here. What's the room temperature? Okay, you see, it's uh, it says currently seventy nine degrees. 
Uh, I don't know what I can do. Um, yeah, apart from that, maybe I can uh, change the temperature. Uh, I, I try. I, uh, I mean, you have to look it up in the instructions. Uh, when you get the email from Sensi, then there's a link to instructions and that you can see the set of instructions uh, what you can use you can uh, I mean you can't do the full programming and everything but you can ask for the room temperature and you can change from cooling mode to heating mode and you can set a new temperature target temperature so we just try it maybe it works maybe it doesn't work set temperature to 79 Okay, it's already 79, so there's no change, but uh, it, it looks like it would do it. So that's really cool. So then the other cool thing is if you have uh, Google uh, Wear or Android uh, Wear watch, then you don't have to do anything. It will automatically also work from here. So we just try this. Yeah, okay, that's now, of course, when I'm not wearing it. Yeah, what's the problem? I long press. What's the room temperature? Okay, you see, it worked too. So, you have the same thing on the watch. Same functionality with uh, Google the Assistant, so you can just you don't have to invoke the app. With the, I mean, with the watch you don't have the app anyway. So now you have also the possibility to change the temperature from your watch without installing the app. That's pretty cool because the yeah the app uh, there, there's no app. So um, yeah, so you don't uh, you just have to install the app here and you can use it with the google assistant also from the watch and of course still from here so yeah i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions uh, just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time